ride to the end of the bike lane. <laughs> as far as the construction goes and turn around and head back. Can't waste weather like this. I think we've had two sunny days in a row this year, maybe one other time. Oh, it's nice. I think it's like 17 degrees or something. Yeah, we've had some crazy bad weather. It's been raining all 2022. Like literally raining all of 2022. The weather right now, this is absolutely perfect. Holy crap. Yeah, that's insane. This is perfect. You can be in shorts and you can be in long sleeve or shorts and short sleeve. And it's just warm enough that you're not getting crazy sweaty. 38.8. <laughs> Oh, that's horrible. Six or seven, that's right now at 8 p.m. Yeah, that's bad at 8 p.m. Oh. It should never be 38. But if it is, that should be like noon or something. Kind of going out of my way. This is the wrong way. Hey, Sapapak, how's it going? Holy. Loki bot. Thanks for the raid. Welcome raiders. I am riding out of my way to use bike lanes that were just built. <laughs> so people can't say they built those damn bike lanes and no one ever uses them. I can get video footage evidence of people actually in the bike lane. Kiki Bus said, look at those bike lanes, cost them. Stop the bus said, love your technology set up on the bike. You will have to go over it one day. No problem. Yeah, they just redid this road and they narrowed the road. So all the drivers are freaking out because the road is now a few feet narrower and they put protected bike lanes on either side. And it's flipping beautiful. But people who drive are like losing their minds. Yeah, it's nice. Like you don't have to worry. Yeah, well, I have to give it to the city. They do a good job. So anytime they have to redo like the road, this is usually what they've been doing. But the problem is there's a lot of not connected bike lanes. <laughs> so like this one's awesome, but it just like ends. Hagen Austin, hey Zamorai. Hagen Austin, how are you? Hey Hagen, really loving your pictures on Instagram. They're like super awesome. Stop the bus said too bad for the drivers. They had it good for 100 years now. 
<laughs> yeah. It's funny, most of your Instagram pictures, like I look at them and I'm like thinking it's like normal stuff, but you do a good job framing everything. Well, that was the end of the bike lane. Now we're heading back. Thanks, Pookie. Thanks for the raid. Have a good evening. Oh, dude's going wrong way on the one way bike lane. I'll forgive parents with kids if they're going the wrong way in the bike lane, but adults should know better. Some wind. Well, it's tough. It's tough new way of thinking because everyone that drives hates it. And there's so much hate on like social media about all these bike lanes. But I think the biggest problem is in North America. People view cycling as a hobby. It's what kids do. And then when you get your driver's license, all you do is drive. Yeah. But it's like, no man, cycling is not a hobby. Yes, it is a hobby, but I'm using it to get to and from work. It's just, it's not, people aren't grown up. Like in Europe, everyone's like, yeah, everyone freaking rides everywhere. <laughs> See, so, yeah, there's another cyclist in the bike lane. I'm getting used. And that's the biggest problem is, you're not gonna get more people to ride. Yeah, exactly, it's a totally. And you're not gonna get more people to ride if you don't put the infrastructure in. Because up until this bike lane, you're riding like on the side of a highway with frickin' rigs and cars doing 10 times faster than you are. Like who wants to ride like that? Timing these lights good. Now this is the E and N trail. That parallels the train tracks. This should be <laughs> gone.
Actually, Dimitri, you have some crazy bike lanes. I've seen your disappearing ending lanes. It is pretty hilly here too, so it's tough for some people to get out, but with e-bikes and that now becoming really popular, it's easier for everybody. I don't know how the mic comes through, but is there like much wind noise? Because it's really windy. Oh, that's good. As all I can hear is wind. And I'm thinking, man, this is crazy. Well, it's not much harder. <laughs> Just <'cause they're laughs> oh my God, you guys, it's so windy. You won't even believe it. Oh yeah, like if they're doing road work, it doesn't take much more effort to put in, you know, a seven foot wide bike path. That motorbike has a super loud stereo. <laughs> it's like so cranked. I was planning on riding longer, but I had to take my bike into the bike shop and have them inspect something for me. And I just wanted them to take a quick look, but they decided to do a super thorough job and take everything apart. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, you're gonna take the whole thing apart right now? Oh, okay, sure. Oh. Yeah, and they spent three times like ripping it up and redoing it. And... That guy almost wasn't going to stop. Oh, it felt so effortless riding the other way, even though this way is more downhill. Hey, stop a buck. Thanks for stopping by. But the verdict on my bike was the crank most likely won't fall off. <laughs> That's all I wanted to hear. Yeah, well the crank, it's bonded together, so it's like two parts are glued. I guess it's called glue, epoxy or whatever. And I think the bond between the two parts is breaking. 
because there's a little bit of play in the crank but I took it apart all yesterday uh, no it's like an Easton crank I do have Altegra that explodes though mine hasn't exploded <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that it does explode but when I took it apart yesterday I'm like everything's tight except for the bond you can actually see it moving so I took it into the shop shout out to Rock City Cycles and uh, they took it completely apart again and the guy's like yep looks like the bond is coming apart yeah you know I'm starting to turn that way buying all these sort of expensive lightweight parts and I'd rather just things last for longer like they can be heavier I don't really care anymore well I should say that I care a little bit I don't care as much as I used to care like who cares if my bike oh you can totally get tie cranks like if my bike weighs a pound more who really cares I'm like 40 pounds overweight having my bike as a pound lighter makes no difference It's windy enough I can have text-to-speech on but I can't really understand what text-to-speech is saying like I can hear the speakers making noise but So they wrote down my serial number of the cranks and they're going to send it into the manufacturer. I'm pretty sure they're well, well out of warranty, but the guy said, you never know. Some companies out there still stand behind their product, even if it's out of warranty. It's had good luck with Wahoo. Wahoo has amazing customer service for warranty stuff I mean stuff shouldn't break but if they do if it does break it's excellent when you know they at least take care of you Yeah, well, it's funny when you look the cranks up online, it happens to a lot of people. And I mean, I guess it's like a flaw in the design, like the, especially the, the Shimano ones. Hey, Butteray, thanks for the follow. The Shimano ones, like that's catastrophic failure. Like the failure on these cranks, it's like a slow failure. Like you're like, oh, I think they're breaking, but I'm still gonna ride on them for months before they really really break where the Shimano ones is you stand up to go for a sprint and then your crank just disintegrates and then Shimano they're hard asses and they're like we don't warranty anything
like my Wahoo trainer, it was way out of warranty and they gave me a new one. Yeah, that. I could imagine that would happen faster on a trainer as well. Like, you're sweating all over. I've seen videos or pictures of guys with, uh, like, their bars just collapse. Like, you don't realize you're sweating so much, and the sweat's going into, like, your bar tape and just totally corroding the crap out of your handlebars. And then you go to stick. We don't really notice it too, because what happens is like you'd feel your bars and they would dry off, but it's just like salt water. Sweat underneath the bar tape. Going downhill here, I'm gonna actually have to pedal. Pedal into the wind. Yeah, I don't think in general gluing parts together is the best idea. I need uh, like dead cats for my helmet straps to deflect the wind noise out of my ear. It's ruining my enjoyment of the ride. It's like, all I can hear is like roaring wind. Maybe I should stop plucking my ear hair. Just let it grow out. Big ear afros. This happens when you get older. And more and more hair growing in places. Oh, is there? I have to look those up. Yeah, just like, like if I put my hand by my strap and it deflects the wind a little bit, it's just nice and silent. I feel like I have to yell. Yeah, that's what I was just doing. I was like, 
Yeah, it makes a big difference. It's not really a huge issue, but it just gets annoying after a while. I was riding with earbuds in and that would dampen the wind noise, but I don't really like riding with earbuds because you, you can't hear enough. I was on my road bike, I'd be getting blown around with like the deep arrow wheels. You need a, a 3D printer and then you could like 3D print little wind deflectors. This is like amazing. Getting all the green lights, not having to wait. Hey, presto, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the afternoon commute. Just making my way home on this gorgeous Tuesday afternoon. Fresh down super safe, then how's the island today? Oh, it is amazing. It has been sunny for two days in a row. And this is perfect bike riding weather. It's just warm enough. Oh man, someone is barbecuing. I smell steaks. There is some steak cooking going on. Smells good. Oh, that was fast. You usually have to wait forever at this light. Fresh down super face then. I took some pork butt in the smoker today. Oh man, that sounds good. I have a roast I think I'm going to do this weekend. Fred Dumpy for Face said, I'm surprised I'm not in a food coma at the moment. <laughs> so much pork butt.
Oh, look at that dragon boat practice going on out there. Said we have a dragon boat parade here in Oriental MC at New YY Years. Oh, I, I used to go on it. They, they do practices like twice a week, years and years ago. I just don't have the time anymore. It was a good workout. It's like a big charity thing. <laughs> Fresh down Super Face said, never done it. We used to keep the sailboat in Oriental and we would see them often when we would disembark. Yeah, it's a good upper body because when you paddle, you kind of twist a little bit too. So totally works your abs. It's nice to get out in the water and go for a paddle too. Busy down here today. Fresh down super face said, I'm sure that mom would like. Did that man see? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I only heard was Turtlehead. Fresh down super face said, Did that man's phone just say Turtlehead poking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, all the people are walking in the bike side. This right side is for bikes and wheeled vehicles only. Luckily, the uh, text to speech is a, the voice is a very respectable sounding lady. <laughs> A robot lady. Fresh down super face said, Oh, I can fix that. <laughs> Cycling mayhem. Everyone's going everywhere. It's super narrow in that spot. Not enough room for one bike.
cyclings. Uh, like the ferry to Vancouver ferry. I think it's about two kilometers that way. Well, one of the two ferries. The ferry that's two kilometers that way goes to Horseshoe Bay. This is another bike lane that everyone that drives a car hates. This is my cross bike slash commuter slash gravel bike. The other bike never comes off the, tra off the trainer ever. It's like the trainer bike now. This bike in general is more fun to ride. It's a little less aggressive. It's more comfortable with the bigger tires. And it's not really that much slower than the road bike. It's funny, this, what most of the drivers are concerned with is that they made the road narrower. And they get some, like, some of the comments on Facebook and social media are hilarious because the road is still built to, like, Ministry of Transport standards. Like, a rig with a 50-foot trailer... For base bed, I have an aluminum gravel bike I use outdoors mm. mostly. I'm still debating on my, what my real road bike will be. Yeah, that's, so I mean like all these roads are built to a standard. They all have like, you could drive a tractor trailer with like a 50 foot bed on the back. And then you get these people and they're like, oh my gosh, my mirrors almost touched another car. But then if you actually like took a picture, they were probably like nine feet away from that car. Yeah, if people have a tough time going down like a two-lane road without their mirrors coming close to another car, they should probably not be driving. <clears throat> like look, here's a bus going through the lane. The bus has plenty of room. I got to say, my wheels were spinning. Yeah, they are spinning. He was right. I had a check there. He might be free and offset, but it's tiny. What about the massive Corolla? Yeah, exactly. Fresh down super face said Brava is observant. Yeah. This is the, uh, like most beautiful part of town and also the sketchiest part of town. <laughs> this is for all like the uh, people with mental health issues and drug problems hang out. Oh crap, I can't go this way because the bridge is... Ah, the bridge is blocked. Face that I couldn't tell those wheels were spinning until he told me. That's what I thought. Mr. Kuprianov said I had a bus pass me no problem and someone in a tiny SUV haunted me. Yeah, well, exactly. Like, there's so much room. People just like to complain.
one, one person's complaint that made me laugh was they would really like to buy an e-bike, but but they had to choose between buying an e-bike or eating for the month. But then at the same time, they had a car. So it was like, that argument made no sense. What? You got hit by a car right in front of your house? wonder why the bridge is closed over there. It's like my shortcut. Oh, I think... Some keeper face said, yeah, turning into my driveway. Student who was turning onto my road and trying to beat another car never saw me. Yeah, because bikes are invisible. They're not, you can't see them when they ride. Press down keeper face said, was it open to them? No, it was closed this morning too. It looks like they're resurfacing it, but it's just a nicer shortcut to get to the other bike lane. Cuts out a bit more traffic. It could have used for a resurfacing. It was pretty rough. Said, enjoy the rest of your ride, Brothar. I think I'm gonna go take a lap around the neighborhood myself to work off some of this wine. <laughs> Sounds good. Make sure you go to the bathroom before you go because you know what happens as soon as you leave the house, you're gonna poop your pants.
almost missed the bike lane. and wheelies.
starting climb. It's always horrible. <sighs> the heart's so steep. Isn't it? That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, it says zero records published. One, there we go. Just in time for the stream to end. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, all the way back to the start. Turn around. Said, do you even turn on Strava for these? Yeah, I put this on Strava. Otherwise, did it even happen? Pull over in the shade here and shut things down. Oh. Is anyone else on? Let's go say hi to Peloton. He's doing some Zwifting. Be 
free enough that I have power karma doing two laps in a race. Well, let's go see that. Slash. Raid. Power. Karma. Dimitri, thanks for stopping by. Text to speech disabled.